thought I'd show you something I've been, been working on for a little bit. Um, I wanted a more comfortable sort of bush chair. I don't know if you've seen on one of my other videos of a little stool sort of thing that I made. And I wanted a bit more comfort, so I've made this. Uh, it's nothing new, but um, most people they have a crossbar of wood across here. I didn't think that looked very comfortable, so I've used uh, webbing. And um, the material ones, they tend to scrunch up at the top here. So it sort of confines you a bit, I reckon. And uh, so I'll put that in a little pocket. And I've got a, just a branch that I've cut from there. So that, that keeps that back bit nice and straight. So, anyway. A bit of a demo. That's just sitting up as you might usually. It's quite comfortable. Doesn't hit your head. But, uh, yeah, I've got these little uh, square carabiners, but <laughs> made from aluminium. Um, yeah, I'll invest in a better one. But uh, yeah, I'll show you how you can lay back in it too. This is a bit more laid back, at the risk of it looking a bit like a, some sort of sex chair. It's comfortable. Yeah, that's what you want. You have a little nap. Or, let's see how far I can take this thing. There you go, if you want to be really laid back, it's almost like a mini hammock. I have to live with this. Pardon me. Anyway, this is the idea. This is a uh, was it 10 or 12 ounce, ounce canvas webbing had to put all these little bloody spots along here so you can change where you want to connect it that goes right through so that's nice and strong these little shit clips I have to replace these up on this end more webbing and that's like a, a pocket that the uh, Oh shit. Come out you bastard. There we go. Yeah, it's just like a pocket. Put your, your stick in. So it stops it from collapsing like that. Because, uh, yeah, you'd sort of get squished in down there. But, uh, yeah, if you're going to make something, make sure you've got lots of Velcro. Because that, that, uh, that stick, when you got it in this sort of configuration, it wants to come popping out. So, but yeah, probably cost me 20 bucks all up. Money well invested, but yeah, it took me a better part of a day to, to make. All these little things took took ages. Still on one by one. That's the other thing. Because this is like a three-sided pyramid, while you're sitting in here, you're aligning your chakras and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite comfortable, isn't it? All aligned. I tell you, people, it is disgusting. Look at that. Genetic engineering gone too far. That's a normal sheep over there. And look at this thing. What have they done to it? Trying to get more, more wool, more meat off it. It's just wrong. Just can't mess with nature like that. It's probably a uh, New Zealand initiative. So they don't have to uh, get down on their knees when they have their way. This is a stand-up model. Yeah, that's just, just wrong. 
Anyway. Y'all come back now, girl.